Hello, my name is Miriam Baldewijn. I'm 50 years young, a devoted wife, business entrepreneur, caregiver advocate, and the caregiver to both my husband and brother. Many people know that I'm addicted to traveling and that I was the owner of a web shop in exclusive plus size women's clothing. I'm still blown away that I've been able to give so many beautiful women more confidence and let them see the beauty in themselves. Today, I am a happy, confident and strong woman who enjoys every single day of her life. There was a time when my husband Martin was a diabetic. In 1999, he started suffering from kidney failure. And four years later, he had a kidney pancreas transplant surgery. During those years, besides working full time, I was the caregiver, the cook, the cleaner, the driver, the groceries woman, and much more. I was stressed and exhausted. I remember the day when Martin was recovering from surgery and a social worker asked me, Miriam, how are you doing? My world fell apart and for 15 minutes, I cried and sobbed like a child because of the heaviness of all that was on my shoulders. This wasn't how I imagined my life to be. I burned out. The question of the social worker actually saved my life. When I got home that day, I looked in the mirror and I asked myself, Miriam, what are you going to do for you? Who's gonna take care of Martin if something bad happens to you? I knew the answer. I started investing in myself. It wasn't easy, but I taught myself some techniques and tools how to revitalize my own energy, how to set boundaries, how to say no to others and say yes to Miriam. And I slowly transformed to a caregiver 2.0. Thanks to these techniques and tools, I was able to prevent another burnout. Martin also had groin rupture, many eye surgeries, ankle surgery. We lost count. And one day in 2012, I was at the office when my phone rang. It was Martin asking me to call my brother Patrick right away. When I called Patrick and heard how he was talking, I hung up and I called the paramedics immediately. He had a severe stroke and was partially paralyzed. Fear, anxiety, stress knocked on my door again. Caregiving is challenging, both mentally and physically. We need to take proper care of ourselves before we can take care of someone else. In Caregiver 2.0, From Burnout to Powerhouse, I share my transformational journey, extensive knowledge, and invaluable advice when it comes to possibilities, opportunities, asking for help, time management, self-care, and much more. Caregiver 2.0 from burnout to powerhouse is for everyone. People who were a caregiver, people who are a caregiver now, people who will be a caregiver, and people who will need a caregiver someday. It's time to own your well-being because you are worthy of a wonderful life too.